Now, when we think about aggression and violence, we're often thinking about interpersonal violence, but there's a different type of violence, which is mob violence or crowd violence. In 2011, we saw the London riots where thousands of people came together and protested in Tottenham, London, following the death of a 29-year-old local man, Mark Duggan, who was shot and killed by police during a confrontation with police. The riots took place in many parts of London and went on for around six days. The protesters violently clashed with the police. They set vehicles on fire, burnt down buildings, they destroyed a double-decker bus and many homes and businesses in the areas. Five people were killed and at least 16 others were injured as a direct result of the violent behaviour in the riots. The police made more than 3,000 arrests and issued more than 1,000 criminal charges. The total damage as a result of the riots was estimated to be around £200 million. This is an image from the Redfern riots in Sydney, Australia back in 2004, showing the protesters shooting fireworks at the police. This is the site of the Hippodrome in Constantinople, Istanbul, where the Nikah riots took place back in AD 532 as a result of some conflict over chariot racing, which was a popular sport back then. This ended up to be a really violent riot where almost half the city was up in flames and destroyed and tens of thousands of people died. This is an example of how extreme riots can be. The Battle of Brisbane was a riot that took place here in Brisbane, Queensland back in 1942 during World War II. At the time, there were as many as one million American soldiers who were stationed along the east coast of Australia to help fight the war in the Pacific, and many of them were stationed in Brisbane. This is an image showing the American military police personnel outside the Grand Central Hotel in Brisbane. The locals living in Brisbane at the time found it difficult to cope as the population practically doubled overnight. Although the American and Australian soldiers got along most of the time, at times, tension did build between the two forces. This was mainly because the American soldiers were generally treated better than the Australian soldiers. The American soldiers were paid more than the Australian soldiers. They received better rations than the Australian soldiers. They were able to purchase many different items at much lower price than what the Australian soldiers had to pay. As a result, the US military uniforms were viewed as more prestigious than the Australian uniforms. Many women from Brisbane were attracted to the American soldiers. At the time, there weren't that many women available in Brisbane. So the Australian soldiers were not happy about the fact that the American soldiers were more successful with the ladies than them. Eventually, all this tension just blew up one day. Over two nights, there were these pitched battles between the Australian and the American troops, who were actually on the same side during the war. By the time the violence relating to the riot had ended, one Australian was killed and hundreds of Australian and American soldiers were injured. This is an image showing people repairing the broken windows after the riot. The Baltimore protests in 2015 took place after the hospitalisation and subsequent death of Freddie Gray, who was a 25-year-old African-American man from Baltimore, Maryland, in the United States. The police arrested Gray for carrying a pocket knife. While Gray was being transported in the police vehicle, he sustained injuries to his neck and spine. A few days later, while still in police custody, Gray fell into a coma and died a week later. Gray's death and how he died became public knowledge. Violent protests started shortly following Gray's funeral service outside of the police station. Over a period of six nights, hundreds of people protested against the apparent mistreatment of Gray and for legal prosecution of the police officers responsible for Gray's death. In the end, 20 police officers were injured, 250 people were arrested and around 400 businesses were damaged or looted. 150 vehicles and other structures were on fire. Additional police were deployed from other parts of Maryland. We hear these stories in the news. Often we just step back and go, oh my goodness, everyone just turned really ugly. Because of this, there are genuine fears of what humans are capable of in group situations.